Mulligan. When it comes to car care and keeping our cars looking good, there's a whole world out there that not many people actually know exists. Today, we're going to be spending some time with a man who has spent an entire career doing an art that only a few people can do. From basic auto detailing to high-end correction, today we're going to be discovering what it means to make these vehicles cosmetically correct. And ladies, we are not talking about lipstick or eyeliner. This is an all-new definition of what cosmetics means to the high-end automotive industry. But so much goes into this paint correction process. It is time to meet the man who has been dominating the automotive appearance industry for nearly 50 years, Mel Craig. Linda Halligan. Good to oh see you. Come gosh, on. Absolutely. Bring it here. It's been nice a few years. You. It's been a while, yeah. yeah. Okay, I first have to talk about this because I love old cars. Isn't it eye catching? You know. I mean, look at this. This thing. is amazing. 1960 <laughs> what? What are we talking here? It's a 1963 Ford uh, Skyliner. It's a really nice, it's actually a chip boost car. Okay. In fact, Chip Foose was actually building this for his dad, and long story short, it went through a couple of auctions, and now my client owns it. So it's, uh, it's exciting to be able to work on these kind of cars. Obviously, you see how beautiful they are. Well, and shiny. I mean, look at this. May I touch it? Is that uh, allowed? Ahead, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That's it. Look at you. You still remember that. How does it feel so soft? It's like a, a baby's bottom. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a long process in, in paint correction and paint protection to really get these beauties looking the way they do. Unbelievable. So talk to me about this specific car. When was it brought in? What did it look like then? I mean, I see what it looks like now. What was the whole process like? Good question, Linda. My customer brought this to me yesterday morning and I spent an entire day yesterday getting this paint ready for, you know, Revivify. You know, it's a paint correction process. So it came to me with quite a bit of damage. You know, wash scratches, marring. It's been through a couple of auctions. You know, these auction guys wipe it down. Sometimes they dry wipe it, which incre increases the amount of damage on the car. So my job was to actually turn this thing around and give this customer that shine and gloss he's really looking for but more importantly give him that deep beautiful finish you know the finish you can almost like dive into this paint I mean if you look down you can see down inside the paint it just looks amazing you absolutely can you look yeah. like you're like you're looking into a mirror yeah exactly right. and that's what it should be like right so for people who don't know tell me what a ceramic coating is and when it really came to be I think about 2010 is that yeah, right it, it, ceramic coatings hit the US market it's been overseas for about 30 years but it hit the US market around 2010 2011 they started to gain popularity about 2013 and a ceramic coating is really, it's, it's, it's much better than a wax and much better than a sealant. However, ceramic coatings have actually kind of started to fall down by the wayside here because new technology has come into play. So from 2013 till now, ceramic coatings have been a very popular sought after level of protection for our cars. But like I said, technology takes over and guess what? When technology takes over, new products start getting birth. And I think out of the history, when you look at levels of protection, you have four different choices when it comes to protecting our cars. You got waxes, sealants, coatings, and paint protection film. So it's basic and simple. Uh, it, it, to get a car to look like this, it does take a lot of talent. And Pride myself on being good at that. Well, and you have been doing this for close to 50 years. Oh my gosh, you're, right? you're, you're dating And you me. are a professional. So not everybody can just come in here or just go into their garage at home and do what you've done here. Absolutely, yeah. It takes a lot of time and energy and effort. I, I've spent an entire career uh, trying to figure this out. So it, it is a difficult process. Paint correction isn't something that just anybody can do. However, there, there are some basic, like I do a do-it-yourself class, and I can teach people the basics of how to maintain their car. But you're right, uh, to, to, to put the energy and time into something like this, you're looking at a very expensive automobile. You're looking at a history of a paint job that we really don't know about. So we have to be, it's a very risky business. So you gotta be very careful not to damage the paint uh, because that, that's not gonna make the customer happy. They're bringing it to me to make it look good, not damage it. So yeah, a lot of time and energy and effort goes into it. And this is the end result. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Now you're here in Huntington Beach, California, but you don't have to be in Orange County or even California to be able to benefit from your skill and all your experience and Revivify. All over the world, people can actually learn how to do this? Oh my gosh, it's, I have had, literally, I have traveled to 18 different countries speaking, training, and, and teaching on the art of car care. Uh, but more importantly, people can actually come from anywhere and come to training here. 
we can actually teach them the art of paint correction, the art of paint protection, uh, you know, auto detailing, the basics, anything that you want to know about car care, that's what we're all about. And we really want to pass on that education to a lot of the guys out there because there's an amazing career involved here. Definitely, and the car care industry is just blowing up. Isn't it huge? Oh my gosh. You know, I, I date myself back to the 70s with Tommy and my brother Tommy and I back down in San Diego, you know, messing around with cars and, and really getting into it. In 1980, going full time, it, it, think about that, it's almost 50 years ago. You know, the, the history, it, it, we used to be buckets and sponges and garden hoses and, you know, we had very limited supply. It wasn't like you could go online and buy chemicals and things. You, you know, you had to fight for areas to find where you could buy these chemicals and make the cars look good. So, yeah, it's come a long way. Yeah, you've come a long way, baby. <laughs> How exciting is it, though, for you to see all the advancements? You were there kind of in the beginning and here you are now seeing how far it's come. Yeah, like I said earlier, the technology has arrived. You know, it's really made uh, these last 10 years have been almost hard to keep up with. You know, there's so many new machines, so many new pads, so many different types of chemicals. And now, like, the protections that we have to offer our clients, from waxes to sealants to coatings to film, all kinds of new things that are happening. And the, the best part of it is we're really taking care of the customer. They're really excited about what we're able to do now. And so many customers today are actually educated. Uh, they really know what to ask. They know what to look for. They know what they're looking for in a professional. So, right. yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, they know the right questions to ask, right? So what a lot of people may not know is that we've been working together since 2008. Isn't that a while? So it's been a long time, right? Yeah. I kind of thought maybe you'd be getting close to retirement, but no. How come? <laughs> you know, it's, it's been, it has been amazing. I, I, I have to tell you, I did retire. I semi-retired, moved into a smaller shop, and then Revivify comes. Uh, and, and then new students and new things that are happening. So it's really brought me back into the industry in a really big way. And, and I don't find myself retiring anytime soon now because there's so many exciting things happening all over America, all over the world, especially with Revivify. Now you mentioned paint protection and paint correction. Could you explain the difference between the two? Great question. So paint protection is the art of taking damaged paint defects, scratches, marring, uh, whatever, paint chips, things like that. And our job is to make the paint look as best as we possibly can. We want to get that customer's car as defect free as we can. Can we remove 100% of the damage? Probably not, but we can get it looking really good. We want to try to get that car back to new again. Uh, and then after we're done with that process, we want to protect it to make sure that it stays looking that way for longer periods of time. And that's where all these paint protection products come into play. Well, and a lot of these cars, you're talking 50, 60 years old maybe, right? How do you keep them looking this good? Well, you know, okay, so going back into the history of how this works is really a very interesting story. So paint has changed a lot. So from the 50s to the 60s, we had one era of paint, all this different technology. Then going into the 70s and 80s and 90s with the advancement of clear coat, which is a clear urethane we put over the paint. And, and you have from old to new, so many different types of paints that we have to deal with. Very difficult to understand. You have old time lacquers and single stage paint to today's clear coats. Now here's the big, big question is, how much can I, how many times can I correct the paint on a car? Paint is very thin today. The manufacturers are very stingy. They're saving their investors millions. The unsuspecting consumer like you and I who buy a car today, we don't realize there's just not much paint on the car. So that is the importance of being a professional in paint correction, but being able to offer paint protection to make sure that thin paint stays looking great for a long time because we can't keep going back and forth correcting paint over and over again without damaging the paint further. Right, and when you protect it like this, what will happen if, say, a rock or some pebbles or something hits it or if you're in the snow or something? How will it protect it? Well, another great question. So all these protection products are limited. They all have their limitations. When it comes to waxes and sealants, it pretty much what you're looking at is you're, you're protecting against mild weather conditions, mild driving conditions, and UV rays, sun, sunshine, you know, whatever. Uh, you start to get into the coatings, and now you're starting to get into something a little thicker, a little more durable, that will start to actually de de deflect these debris and things that are hitting our car. When it comes to Revivify, now you're looking at a product that is a silicone-based product that will actually absorb these projectiles and actually reflect them or deflect them off the paint. Kind of interesting topic, but very good as far as level of protection goes. Right, and you mentioned UV rays. 
how many people, especially out here in California, are not parking in their garages anymore because they've turned them into some sort of a bonus room, a hangout room, or just a storage, storage space, yeah, right? Yeah. So you really need that protection for your car. Absolutely. I, I, I recommend to all my clients, you know, especially because of the, today's paint jobs being so thin on the car, that we really reflect on the fact that, hey, I'm going to correct your paint. I'm going to make it look really good, but it's really super thin. And if you're going to be parking it outside, which you're right, a lot of people do, let's get it protected with the best level of protection we can. And that would be Revivify. So from protection to preparation, preparation is key. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? What goes into it? Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's, it's when it comes to these coatings, you're hearing a lot of in, in the news on social media, you can get these spray ceramics and things like that. And people actually think they're protecting their paint. In order for any product to actually adhere to the surface of the paint, the paint has to be prepped. It has to be, you know, go through a paint correction process. You have to prep the paint, strip the paint, uh, make sure that you steam it to make sure everything is off that car before you can actually apply a protection product so that it adheres to the paint and stays and lasts a long time. Because you could potentially be doing harm to the car if you don't prep it uh, correctly, right? Absolutely, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of in the middle of that there's a lot of things that you have to consider before you put a protection product on the car but you're right yeah you got to be careful you can actually damage cars if you don't know what you're doing uh, but a lot of times people are buying these products they're waxing their car and then next week they'll go buy a different product and apply that over the top of a wax that product's not going to adhere because you already have a product on the surface it gets kind of confusing but well so you really do need to know what you're doing and you're the guy to come to because you you know what you're doing you've been doing this for so many years and you mentioned social media and you are all over the place, right? You've got videos and you answer all these very important questions and you've got photos and everything. Can you tell everybody out there how they can reach you and get more information on Revivify? Well, that's an amazing question. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of professionals in the industry all over the United States of America. And it's to all of our customers' best interest to not be afraid to ask a few questions. You know, you, you got different price points and you know, different budgets, but it's really imperative that the customer understands when you go to one of these professionals, Ask them a few questions. Don't be afraid to find out. Are you certified? Do you have the proper education? Do you have enough years of experience to, that I can drop off a $250,000 Ferrari in your shop? And, and so that is a good question. And, and they can look us up online. They can find different detailers you know, on, on social media, on websites and things like that. For me, what I'd like to have my customers do and anybody watching this video is go to, go to the detailingpros.com, go to TeamRevivify.com, go to Mel Craig, Facebook. Uh, you can go to the uh, Revivify America social media campaigns. I mean, there's a lot of ways to get out. You can even call me direct at 714-795-2983 and I'll work with you to help you find everybody in the country that can help you get your car looking good. Talk to the main man himself. And no matter where they are, they could be in a small town in Iowa, Arkansas, there might be someone close by who can help them. Absolutely, there's detailers all over the United States of America and Revivify applicators are coming on strong. Uh, these are guys that I hand select based on their level of professionalism, based on their years of experience, based on getting them certified and trained, based on the fact that they have prior certifications and training. I want my customers to be well taken care of. And Linda, all these viewers need to know there is a right and wrong way to do things. Let's make sure they're getting the information they're looking for to pick the right candidate that's going to take care of their cars and make sure that they're happy and, and satisfied with the end result they're looking for. And let's be clear about something. No random average Joe can do this, right? I can't just do this right away. My neighbor can't do it. They need actual training. Absolutely. You know, this is the paint correction and paint protection process has taken me years to learn. Now, we can also teach do-it-yourselfers how to maintain their car, but when it comes to getting the raw paint back to what you want, that new look again, that finish that you always wanted, that's a professional that you need to hire, okay? And then after that, getting that car protected also takes a professional. You wanna make sure that he guides you down the path. What level of protection? What's your budget? How are we gonna make this car look good? How are we gonna keep it looking good for years to come? And you just talked about the budget. Not everybody owns a $250,000 car, right? I wish I did, but I do not. So this is for other cars too. You don't have to be a collector. You don't have to be someone who brings your cars to competitions, to various car shows across the country. From the daily drivers to the high-end exotics, we work with everyone. Uh, you know, some of the people that have these Hondas and Toyotas and, you know, the basic daily driver cars to the Ferraris, Maserati and Bugattis, all of them are the same. They're customers that really are looking for a service. 
and we treat everybody fairly. And there's budgets that we need to meet. There's options that all of our customers get to take advantage of. Well, I would love to see just a little bit about how you do it. Could you show me? Well, we can actually talk about doing a, a Revivify coating on this beautiful car. Yes, yes, I would love it. I would love it. Let's bring it some life. Well, this has enough life right here. I mean, my gosh. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply the Revivify coating over the surface of the paint and we're going to make this thing look. Now, this is something anybody can do. Okay. I'm going to show you right now. This is the easy part. I'm going to take this sponge. This is actually the Revivify product. This is a bottle of Revivify. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, a, a small package with a lot of impact. That's what so, I was going to ask because it is a pretty tiny bottle, but a little goes a long uh, way. Yeah, it goes a long way. Okay. So this is the easy part. Anybody can actually take this product, put it on the surface of this sponge. This is simple. Anybody can do this. And then what we can do, anybody can do this. We can take this product and we can apply it to the surface of the paint like so. Okay, that's an easy part. Even you can do this, Linda, in a blink of an eye. So we've just applied Revivify to the surface of the paint. Here's the trick. Here's where everything changes. It literally took me a year and a half to master what we call the leveling process. This is the art of being able to level what we just put on the car and make it nice and flat and give us that super level of protection we're looking for without removing the product. So our job is to take these very high-end microfiber towels and go over the surface with a technique and a talent. Like I said, it took me a year and a half to figure out the leveling process. And this is the way that we level the product. You can see the product is still there. Mm -hmm. So now it's going to do what's called flash. It's going to start to flash and change the little color. We're going to take towel number two. And there's a touch to this that nobody can really see on the camera here. This is a way that we're leveling it. I'm not removing it. And there we go. And now we have, so I want you to go here and then come over here and tell me what you feel. Okay. Feel that bite? Oh yeah. So, so it's nice a lot and harder. Slick. Right, right. And, then, and this just slides right down. Yeah, so yeah. you have a little bit of a bite here and that's mm -hmm. the coating still on the car. Mm -hmm. Give it about three or four hours, the customer can literally drive the car away. Wow. Yeah. So you really are a skilled artist. Yeah, a year it, and a it, half it took to learn how to do this the proper way. It, it took a year and a half to learn the leveling process. Okay. The, the, the part about getting the product on the surface of the paint is really not much, mm -hmm. but it's that leveling that we want to leave as much of the coating on the car as we possibly can, offering the thickness that we need to protect the customer's car for, like I said, years to come. Let me ask you this. Why is Revivify so much better than its competitors? Or are there any competitors really? Uh, well, not really. So let's go into this ceramic coatings, the traditional ceramic coatings that we were talking about. They go back to 2010 and technology has taken over. So these ceramic coatings, they boast what's called hardness. Really a ceramic or a titanium or a silica dioxide product is like a windshield being placed over the paint. It's like we're putting glass over the paint. So if glass has a projectile hit, it'll show a chip or a crack. Well, that's what happens when you boast hardness. The guys out of Taiwan who came up with Revivify designed this product to be more flexible, like paint protection film. So if a projectile comes in contact with that surface, it's going to absorb and reject it. So the, the difference is this is a silicone based product, not a hard or titanium or silica dioxide product. So the car looks absolutely gorgeous. But it didn't just wake up this way, right? <laughs> you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this. Talk to me about that. I'll tell you, Linda, the talent is in the prep work. Uh, it takes hours and hours of getting paint prepped and ready for this type of a protection. It's not something simple. It's not something that just anybody can do. We go through a complete paint correction process. Then we have to go through stripping the paint, steaming the paint, and then applying the product. It's a long, tedious, very difficult process to accomplish. And that's why you want to hire a professional. This is done by professionals and should be kept in the professional category. So my dad, for many, many years, his hobby was working on cars. That's something he loved doing on the weekends. But you can actually turn that hobby, that love of cars, into a career. Oh my gosh, all over the world, people have brought that to me. 
There's people that call me on the phone and say, look, I've been in the cars. Is there really a career here? And the answer, Linda, is yes. We offer training, a soup to nuts, a two-day class to a five-day master certification program. Yes, you can get trained to be a professional in this industry and actually have one heck of a career. As you know, this is my, I'm going on 50 years of doing this and I'm really excited about the career I've obtained for myself. And you can have your own hours. You could do it at home if you want to. Lots of options. Well, I always tell people, if business was easy, everyone would do it and there wouldn't be any money. It's a tough, it's a tough thing to do to run a business, but the exciting thing is by getting professionally trained, that means the learning curve for anybody who starts a career in car care, they don't have to go through everything that I had to go through to get where I'm at today. In fact, a lot of the things that I teach the students is what not to do and what to do so that they can have faster, quicker, and easier success. Definitely. Let's get that website one more time so people can get all the information they want. You can go to the detailingpros.com or you can go to www.teamrevivify.com and get all the information you need to succeed in car care. We have just spent the last few days with industry leader Mel Craig, learning not only how to turn these cars into the true showpieces that they are, but also about the chance to take the training and turn your new or existing business into a car care career. I'm Linda Halligan. Thanks for joining us.